What's going on guys? This is Joe at Outdoorsman's. Just wanted to go over uh, setting up a ballistic profile on the Leica Geovid uh, 3200.coms. Got them right here. Uh, first thing that you're going to want to do is, if you haven't already, you're going to want to download the Leica Ballistics app. Um, that's available in the App Store as well as, um, you know, Android Store, whatever it's called. Um, iPhone user, so I'm not really familiar with those Android things. Uh, but once you get that going, um, open up the app and then you're going to click Pair Rangefinder. Now your um, GeoVid 3200 should pop up once you click the range button here. There they are. Go ahead and click on that, connecting. Ensure that the device is powered on. Perfect. So now we're connected to geovid3200.com 4379 and we will click out of the pairing mode and then into gun profiles. Now I have several profiles already built on my phone here um, so we can just kind of uh, add one I guess. Go to the plus button. Um, and then it's going to bring up the uh, dialog box that says, how would you like to create this profile? And you can choose from the um, Applied Ballistics database, um, the Leica database, easy mode, which I won't do. And then I always just do custom data entry. I find that this is typically the most accurate because then you're inputting all of your specific information. You can also pull from the database on this, but... Um, you know, usually I just enter it in all myself. So let's see here. We'll do for the the 7 mag. So what's that? 284. For the bullet diameter, bullet grain weight. I'm shooting 162 ELDX. Ballistic coefficient. The G1 on those is uh, 0.625. Um, and if you need to switch uh, G1 to G7, uh, you just type, you just tap the G1, G7 deal right there on the side. 0.625. Now, firearm data uh, correction value. Here, you're going to want to change to uh, either EHR, which is just going to be uh, equivalent horizontal range. You're going to want, um, that's just going to give you, obviously, your angle compensated range. You could change to inches, holdover, MOA, quarter MOA click, third MOA click, 0.1 mil, 0 0.05 mil click. Um, I always, uh, if I'm doing mils, I change it to the 0.1 mil click. Uh, uh, for my Z8 <clears throat> and the BTF that's on that Z8, it just matches up perfectly with the uh, designation on the turret itself. If it says 500 yards and 33 clicks, I just dial the 33 on that turret and it works out just fine. Um, for the MOA, I believe you're going to want to uh, leave it on just MOA, not quarter or third. So we'll do that. Side in conditions enabled, no. Zero temperature, we're going to leave it at 59 degrees. And then zero pressure, I'm just going to leave as the default 29.92. Then you hit the check. Oh, muzzle velocity. Where'd that go? There it is. Uh, I believe that rifle is shooting 20, let's just call it 2970. And hit the check. And we should be good to go there. Profile number five. And then you just hit, uh, you click on it. It'll bring up transfer to profile. Are you sure you want to transfer this profile? Then you hit send. And it is sunk. We done sunk it. And you should be good to go. Now, cancel. Can go into your rangefinder settings, and then you'll change your ballistic profile to custom. Zero range, you're going to change to wherever you're zeroed at. I like to keep 100 yard zero and then ballistic setting um, match what your uh, ballistic profile was. So the 0.1 mil click. 
display brightness you could change I'm pretty much blind so I always bump that up to 11 and Bluetooth update new rangefinder software new should be good to go all right, so now that we've got the profile loaded in here, uh, typically I'll go out and I'll verify, um, hit the range button, get my range, and then it will bring up my click values, and we are all set. Once I realize that this is synced up with this and everything's like working really well together, I will go in through the menu settings on the unit itself and I'll turn Bluetooth off. This is pretty important we hear this problem a lot with um, you know the 3200.coms with the uh, 2800.coms um, with all the new Bluetooth units at least for Leica um, when you keep Bluetooth on once you hit the range button the first thing it's going to do is try to pair with your phone um, what that does is one it increases the time between hitting the button and getting an actual range and two it just drains the hell out of your battery so once you get everything synced up Turn Bluetooth off, and then um, you should be good to go. You won't have to touch any of those uh, profiles until you want to switch your gun profile, uh, which for me, I only take one gun into the field. So I'll do this about a week before my hunt, test it out. Um, if I go to the range in that time, I'll you know double check everything. But you know, once I'm done, I'm done, and I'm out in the field hunting with these things, and they work really really well so if you have any questions or if you want to buy a pair find us online at outdoorsmans.com or give us a call 1-800-291-8065 thanks